Well, hey, howdy, everyone. Lost Digger here, and we're back in action for more pretty attraction. Oh, I've been waiting to show you guys this for a while, and I forgot about it too, so extra excited. <laughs> but here we have Child of Light. It's a fairly new IP from Ubisoft that was forgotten like a year or two ago, which is sad. Admittedly, I forgot about it too, so I mean, like, I'm part to blame. But, um, I did play this game beforehand, that's where there's a continue, uh, going on there. And I just want to discuss something really quick with y'all. There is a normal and hard difficulty. They do not mean they are actually normal or hard. Normal is actually for casual play, and I wish they would just say casual play, and they just say normal. Because, when I had it on normal, everything was way, way too easy, and I do mean way too easy. But when you put it on hard, it changes a lot of things in terms of the way the game is. And we'll get into more discussions about that later. But I'm just saying right now, um, normal is not the way you should play in this game. Just nobody should be playing this game on normal unless they are really, really young kids that do not understand like how to work the system, which is fair. That's fair, but I just want to say that first and foremost because this game has a very intuitive battle system and I love it for that fact and that's why I was getting all kinds of hype about it and then I forgot. My bad. But here, let's start our journey. Yep, we're gonna start all the way back over because I totes forgot. Tuck yourself in bed, and let me tell a story of Lemuria, a long-lost kingdom, and a girl born for glory. In Austria was a crown land ruled by a duke. Aurora was his daughter, child of a duchess mysterious, beloved by her father. He raised the girl alone, they were rarely apart, till the duke felt lonely and misplaced his heart. It was the Great Friday before Easter, 1895. Players performed for the Duke, his new bride at his side. That night, Aurora went to sleep. The fire burned down low. She caught a chill that spread. Her skin was cold as snow. At dawn, they found her, vacant. Aurora's life gone out. Her father wept and pleaded, but there could be no doubt. For all intents and purposes, Aurora was dead. And yet, once upon a time, she awoke in a strange land instead. What am I seeing? I must be dreaming. Ubisoft presents... Child of Light. Number one, the girl on the firefly. Father? Wake me up from this slumber. Alright, so obviously she is in a dark and mysterious place, so... Let's see what's up here, yeah? Oh man, that's kind of weird, because it, it doesn't exactly... Like, it'll go this way instead of going this way. Okay, so we go up here. 
Why can't I go up this little area right here? Like, why doesn't it let me go into that foreground? Oh, jeez. What is this? Oh. Left to the Tree of Thorns. Okay. So I guess we're gonna go this way then. Because, yeah, why not? Why not try to go? We cannot go that way, so... Gotta go this way again. Oh, or maybe... Okay, we just kind of have to climb the tree, I guess. Well, what's that up there? Is there a thing up there? Nah, I guess not. Something right there for us. <laughs> it's really weird with this game because it definitely has it like a 2.5D um, effect with itself. And like getting reacquainted with this, um, I definitely don't remember. Don't remember a lot of it. Right to the old monastery. Can we get there? Woods darker than night. Shadows last of light. Oh my god, a simple puzzle here. I really did forget that she's like a 3D model too. Like legit, I thought she was like, like plastered on with like as art as well. I'm not mad about it or anything. I just, I don't remember. Steady, only little kids easily scare. So apparently there's a, there's a, there's a wolfie. So the wolfie there. So we can't really go after that wolf. We don't have anything for us right now. So, if we just go further up, hope for the best. Okay, right of the old monastery. So we can't do anything there either. This dream is formed of uh, frightened air. Dark spirits fly I know not where. By the way, if you haven't noticed, this game rhymes a lot, which I like. No, wake up, wake up. Nightmare, let me wake. Papa, where are you? My heart shall break. Oh, it's a little spirity guy. Will someone please explain how water falls with no rain? Who spoke? I did. Shake the dew from your eyes. Before mold grows, that's common sense. A firefly that speaks advice? My supper must have been too dense. Food sounds good, but I am lost. Ever heard of Aurora? Why, sir, uh, she is me. Uh, both sir and she, uh, a split Aurora. Perhaps you are some kind of flora? I cease your foolishness at once. I am Aurora, I am she. Oh, why didn't you say so? Follow me. A uh, lady wails, uh, lady waits. Hair long as a forest stream. With skin like moss and gleaming eyes. A uh, she uh, shall know, shall know the way out of this dream. All right, I, I guess I guess we're gonna do that then. We're gonna be following this little firefly. I totes forgot what we what we're supposed to be doing here. Press O to move it. Oh yeah, this thing. I forgot. That's what you have to do. This thing actually like helps you in battle and stuff. And that's why if you have a second player, it's actually kind of good to have. Whoa, whoa. That's that's some that's a big monster. That's a big ol' animos. Are we gonna face it or is it just atmosphere? Which is tied to these branches. Here is charms like hands fast and tight. Don't you know these are wishes? Wishes of light left in darkest night? Follow the orange ones to find a uh, more bright. Okay, then you just and then he just collects them. Wishes taste delicious, have a bite. Wait until I tell father about this night. I really do love how I just decided to just let's make everything rhyme and i'm like why did you do that to yourself you like i don't know why they did i feel like that would have made this game way longer than it needed to be in terms of production but it's a lovely aesthetic choice that i, that I really like oh, i didn't do it right you're supposed to get the orange one first that way you get more xp i think or some jazz like that i forget exactly what, what the case in point is but yeah the pass right over this tree but I cannot fly uh, there with thee. Well, 
That trap, the door is barred. A scepter round? A trislin... A trislin spear? A clear as glass, the answer. So firefly, ignite your rear. Whoa, I barely know you. Do it and I'll show you. <laughs> the three scepters, a shadow cast. Oh! We have to match the symbols fast. Okay, press press it to make it glow. Okay, I'm not pressing the right one. There we go. Oh, oh, oh! Heyo, so how do I get this one to work? So not, maybe not that one. How do I get... What? Oh yeah, I forgot that he has a, a little wait period. So you have, to, you have to wait for him to cool down and then you can do it. Um, oh, there we go. It's on the very, it's on the very tippy tippy top. Very, very tippy tippy top. There we go. So I got one. Unfortunately, you do have to wait a bit. So it's like, ah, I wish I could have remembered everything. No, I was right there. I could have been somebody. Uh. Uh. Not exactly the easiest to control either, because it's just... It's all super foreign to me now, and I'm just like, I don't remember how to do anything. There we go. Oh, it even vibrates on this thing. Sophia Flaw, our path is clear. But who would put a door here? Hmm. Santa? Who was she, I wonder? Remove the sword under. Who spoke? Some sort of ghost? The Lady of the Forest, I'm sure of this. Aurora, take the sword of uh, Mandalus. Okay. Um, whoa, there's the sword. Fools, we all have swords. It feels real. Look at it gleam. And yet she's a child that cannot wield it. Oh, run! That thing looks mean. Fortunately, I wield a sword in this dream. And I do have to wonder if you actually do die in a dream, do you die in real life? So, I mean, like, it's it's still very much uh, the case in point here. We gotta have that. Okay, so this little thing in particular is, is fairly interesting because you do have a little battle system of where you could actually act and where you could do stuff. So if you actually like shine on this, I think it slows them down a bit, and that's what you basically do. Oh my. Um, but for the most part, you have a few choices. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I can... No, I can defend. So defending is actually like needed sometimes in this game. I've never really seen uh, a lot of games use the defend option that like actually integrate into the story, but this one does. And that's the main reason why I suggest playing it on a harder difficulty, because you do have a defense and you do, you do stuff. And that's what's just really cool. Uh, but defend is instant, of course, uh, there's medium for for both, for just, okay, so you only have two options anyway. And see how you just, like, I slowed it down right there, so it just got interrupted. Um, oh, what the heck, why did, why did... Okay, so that's what it was. All right, I was, I was thinking I was, I was the blue one, and not the purple one or something. Um, so just go ahead and slash it again, slash it real good. So we just do it like that, so it stops and waits. And you can effectively do it to where you, you just like don't get hit by enemies, and it's pretty great. But I do recall one enemy in particular that um, I don't remember being too fond of. And I'm sure we'll see it very soon, and I'm gonna be sad about that, cause uh, not gonna be great. It's not gonna be great to see. Not, not for me at least. So what's all here? Oh, father, how much further? Oh, Lord, what is a father? This is simple. I am his daughter. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know you could do that that way. I was just kind of testing a theory out in particular. Oh, nuts. Okay, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get up there and such. Do I, I can't jump the chasm. There's no way I could jump the chasm. 
But let's go ahead and attack it because we are going to need some HP and whatnot. And we could explain the battle system a little bit further on through. Because I do find it really interesting. And I do want more of this kind of stuff to like, happen. So let's slow the flows down. And of course, you don't want to keep it on for too long because he does have his bar the way it is. And thankfully, it does like stop completely. So you don't have to always worry about this like thing going on. And it's something that I do wish that Final Fantasy would do, but it's also something that, um, what you calls, um, one of my my friends that that I that I'm being on stream here, uh, Flippy, he, he pretty much said like, oh, this takes from Gradia. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. But he's like, it's like worse than Gradia. I'm like, it's not though, and it's not. It's it's not worse than any given thing. It's its own little thing. It's just really interesting. Um, slow it down so it doesn't hurt me. So now it's interrupted and I can slow it down. Uh, okay, so I could actually defend here so I could I could stop it from hurting me so much. Because the medium cast time is, is not gonna really help too much. So see how I just kinda like did that and I was armored? Yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Um now let's go ahead and just slash it to pieces. There we go. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. And now we actually leveled up. And this level up system I recall being very different. Because it had skill points. Yes, yes, that's what it was. You could allocate points to any given thing. Um, so I found that pretty cool. So you got Starlight, a flash of light targeting a single dark creature. Light is stronger against dark. And then we also have MP upgrade. And we have Light Ray, a powerful light attack with 10% chance of killing the target instantly. Light is strong against the dark. Um, increase magic by five permanently, counter attack. We have all those old things going on here. Um, increase max MP by five. Increase damage by 25% for four turns. Um, that would be kind of good to have. We do want a buff grade. Um, and then we have increase MP. Uh, reduce damage from attacks by 60% and Increase speed of timeline by 70% of the following turn. Um, let's do that. Let's do this thing. Because I want defense too. Because like I said before, we're going to be using defense a lot more than you think. Um, and then everything else here. Um, magic defense upgrade. That's pretty cool. And then we have the slash upgrade right here. So yeah, I'll probably do that. Unfortunately, that's all the points we get allocated. And then there's also these little things up here, I think, where we could add stuff and whatnot. There's, there is like a DLC to this game where just like you, if you bought it, you had like extra stuff to do or something, which it really just turned into kind of like a really terrible microtransaction that feels like a, like someone tried to like, like do that in production. Okay, cool. Um, surprise strike attack from behind. Okay. Cool. Oh dang, what's going on there? Are, are, you gonna, are you gonna stop moving around? There we go. How do I attack from behind? Oh, just leave it like there. Just just do it that way. I mean, it's one way, right? It's one way to do it. Okay, surprise strike. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, so you could just go ahead and outright attack, which is fine, I'll do that. And so now he's all the way back. Oh no, he's dead. I killed him. Whoop. Yay, I got magic potion. And that stuff's gonna come in later because surprise, surprise, everybody. You do not have a lot of um like like ways to heal yourself in this game, from what I remember. I mean maybe later on down the road, but from what I remember, no. That was not a case. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think it increases everything. Your little little thing right there. And we have this little, little bit. So we're just gonna keep you this way so we can attack you from behind. Yay! That was a long intro, my goodness. Okay, so this is where it comes into play where I have to like keep doing stuff. Um, keep suppressing things and whatnot. So we're gonna attack him and then suppress him. So suppressing him will do it so I have enough time to actually go get him. So now we got him. 
and we could either slash him or just go into full defense mode. Um, it'd probably be a better idea just to defend because he's going to get me either way. And then I could just go over here and get my stuff. So, yeah. He's going to do that. Oh, gathering strength, you dumb, dumb, stupid person. That's dumb. Um, does your defense just, like, last forever? I think it might. Oh, I forgot that we just have... We're just stronger outright. So you can just kill him. Yee, look at this. This is good stuff. More skill points is good. It's good, good, good. Skill points available. I guess we'll just keep upgrading it. And I like it. Alright, for sure. Maximum MP by one, and then strength by two. And then we'll have that, and then we're going to start venturing into these things. Ooh, there's counterattack here. Let's do counterattack stuff. Heck yeah. Or what do they have over here? Starlight. I don't recall Starlight Starlight being like a like a very big thing, honestly. Um, from my last time I looked. Alright. Good. Let's open here. Cool. Hard to make glow. What happened? Oh, there was the enemies. There was the enemies that was there. It's all just jumping around, hopping around. And boom, that guy ambushed. Oh, that's bad. Oh, great. Oh, that hurt. Oh, they even took my little crown off. Okay, so this is the fool that I want to suppress. Um, let's go ahead and attack this one. Suppress him. So now he's dead. I really love how this little guy just keeps doing it. Yeah, keep doing it. Ooh. Um, let's go ahead and do this because we could grab grab it right away. No punishment whatsoever. It's the best. Um, attack slash. Oop, oop. Ooh, look at that. Barely, barely got to him in time. Good stuff. And we're going to start getting some party members soonish, I think. I think it takes like roughly an hour or so. It's like when we could get it. I don't really remember, honestly. I cannot tell you. There's like a lot of neat little tricks and ways to like do stuff and everything. I just found it like really neat. Just how much this game just has in the very beginning. What you could do and everything. Okay, so move this here. This very simple puzzles, just just little little things. Just keep gathering ourselves around. And you know the funny thing is too, is that I bought this on the Wii U initially. And then I was like, I'm not going to play it because I could get on my PS Vita on, for physical. And I decided to go ahead and do that. And then, um, basically, I just forgot to play it on my Vita. So I was just like, you know what? I know I could, I could actually, like, do a nice little stream with my Wii U. Um, so I decided to do it that way. So, ironically enough, I just, I have a copy of this game that's, like, kind of open. When I really should have just kept it closed, but whatever. Um... But yeah, that's that's the thing. But you know what? I think Starlight was for. I think it was to kill multiple enemies. I think that was the whole entire bit. Yeah, stop, stop, stop trying to do stuff. Stop it. Stop it now. Jerk. Okay, cool. So, uh, slash that enemy. And then let's go and grab things right here, because we'll need them. Um, yeah, look at that. And then we're just going to keep just, just stopping him, just, just stopping and distract. He's like, I can't do anything. And it's like, yeah, that's the plan, that you can't do anything. So you just you just take all those, those no hits, and it's the best. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at that. This is happening. <laughs> Just so you know, yeah, I don't like those things. I, I don't like them. I don't like spiders. And of course they had to have spiders in this game, and it just, it's, it's pretty, pretty bad. Oh, <sighs> two, the Queen of Light. All right, then. Help me, Aurora. All right, let's go grab this quick, like. Okay, cool. So we're at a nice hefty 32 HP. There's a curve. Don't they know? Uh, rocks uh, planted in the ground will not grow? Caca! 
That didn't rhyme at all. This is what I'm talking about, though, when I say, like, it's a pretty game, because it's just legitimately just... Mm, so good. So, so good. So fine. So great and fantastic. I just love it. And it makes me sad that people won't talk about this game nearly as much as I remember people talking about it initially. And I know this like a handful to say, but yeah, honestly. Oh, I forgot these little things. Cool, so we're gonna improve our stats too. Um, add fire damage to melee attacks. Fire strong against earth, weak to water. And then that's increase fire damage resistance and maximum HP. Increase. Do do they stay forever or no? Because I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. Can we take it off? Well, I guess we can't really take it off unless we put it on somewhere, somewhere else. Huh. We'll, we'll just leave it there, I guess. Yeah, increase that fire damage resistance. Ah. We're probably gonna need to change that later, but whatever. We don't have to worry about it right now. There we go. Grab that. That is not an enemy, it's just a random bug. Okay, that's kind of weird. All right, there is enemy over here though. It's it's a spirit. So it's gonna go over here and just like attack it. E. Cause I wanna attack things, it's this fun. This is, this, it makes me really happy to like have these kind of battles here cause it's very optimized to my liking of just like, if you're really good at this game, you won't have to take a hit or you'll minimally take a hit and that's the thing that makes me very happy about this game at all times is just you can keep doing that stuff oh, okay interrupts foes by hitting them uh, while, when they're casting okay um but did i actually hit her or did i not doesn't seem like i'm doing anything Will I be able to? I don't think I will. Collect witches. Oh god. Okay, cool. So let's go and grab our wishes uh, when we can. And then... Oh! That's party, which I cannot do. I do not have a party. So unfortunately. Um, can I actually hit it? I don't think I can. I may have to leave. No, I see a six. I just couldn't see it before, I guess. I should be able to, to hit her in time. Yeah. What are you doing? Okay, cool. So I did get it. So we're at 80 points. We're not we're not doing it anymore though. We're not getting our, our, our heals and such. That's this terrible. I'm not getting good stuff. I need another peoples. I need more peoples. Follow my voice. Through the spooky place? No other choice. Okay, what we got going on here? So there's another thing right here that we, we can face, but I don't want to. Because so we can go down here. Oh god! That actually scared me. <laughs> I'm gonna admit that that actually did scare me. Ambushed. Okay, so this is the this fool right here. Oh god, this this guy's gonna hurt me a lot. I know he is. Jerk. The other dude I can kill pretty much instantly. So it will, will hurt you. Catch deep. But this guy we have to oppress. This this guy for sure we have to oppress. Because if he starts hitting me some more, I don't, I won't like it. And he's the one that scared me. He just he just lashed out at me. That's the thing that got me the most. I'm not expecting to get, like, surprised in this game at all. So I have my guard completely downed. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't need it. <laughs> there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, we need to keep interrupting. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to do it. So let's just defend. Psh, whatever. Three damage. That was a critical hit. That was a critical hit. Um, pretty interesting how critical that was. God, oh god, oh god. 
Alright, so four damage. Not too bad. He really isn't doing nearly as much as I was thinking he was gonna do. But as you can tell with our HP, it is going down drastically, so with us not having anybody on our back or anything like that, we we could die. We we could easily die. Alright, good. Oh, and there's a thing here. What is this? We got a fire fire elixir. That's pretty cool. Just in case like we're running out of uh, the firefly stuff and whatnot, which you do actually do run out of. Later on in battles, you will run out of firefly stuff because there's so many enemies on board and whatnot. It gets kind of scary. It do. And this is just me saying this out of like probably three hours of time I spent on this game. Probably. So you're going to see me like being experienced for like the first part of this game and just not uh, like, like, like doing it at all. So, first things first, obviously, we have to get rid of um, Buggy McBuggerson. And this is the best way to just suppress and just wait for the next part. See how we're just like really close to this? Um, yeah, they're gonna be casting, so. There you go, get interrupted. Get, get interrupted. Uh, can we do it? Yes, barely. And now I'm just to defend against your stuff. That was a one damage. Get wreck. Get wreck. Grab. Cause I need it. I need it. Okay, so let's go ahead and slash some more. Gotcha. Take it, fam. Take all of it. All right, not done yet. Oh, so I think the defense actually lasts until you attack. Until you initially attack, and then after that, it don't last. There we go. Gotcha again. We should be able to, to get it to where we defend again and just like, Oh, I can't attack you. And it's like, yeah, well, well, get wrecked. But this is what I'm talking about with defense being a viable tactic here. Because you kind of have to. Because otherwise you're going to get hurt real bad. And, and that hurt. It hurt bad. <laughs> and it looks like it's almost dead, so let's get rid of it. Go away. Bad Banshee. Yay! Alright, cool. We're, we're almost to where we need to be. To where we want to be. I do recall there being... Well, can we save at all?